in the last video the boys did really well winning four games out of the five that they played and this man Xavier El Fakir had such an insane first five matches scoring a goal in all of them and the biggest loss in the last episode wasn't even the 2-1 loss against Chelsea it was actually losing our main striker Caleb Rivera to a broken toe injury that is going to last for three months that is crazy we're currently third in the league with Lille and our Hilal just above us I don't think we will last up here though because we're yet to play better teams in this league like Napoli, Roma. Um, I think I think our Hilal will actually give us a run for our money. money. I mean, look at the Chelsea match from last episode. I mean, we tried our best, but they were just a better team. I mean, in the first half, because like in the second half, we gave them a really, really tough fight, but we just weren't able to do anything about the fact that they were just a better team than us. But in this episode, we're going up against Roma, then the Carabao Cup match against Gillingham that I very likely will simulate. Then we have what should be the toughest match of the season for us against Napoli. I, I really think that that's going to be the toughest match, to be honest. Like in the list of teams that are in this um league, in the championship. Then our first rivalry match with Aston Villa, that one, that one is going to be really interesting as well. And lastly, we'll go up against Al Hilal. Might be a tough match because they have Neymar, Mitrovic and... Um, yeah, but I feel like, I mean, it's going to be a tough match. They won't give us a run for our money, but I feel like we're kind of on the same level with them. No, I take that back. <laughs> yeah, I take that back. But I still feel like we might be able to like give them a good run for their money, like what we did against Chelsea. But I mean, that was just unfortunate for us, to be honest. I gave majority of the players' development schedules based on how they played in the last episode but first we have roma it's going to be one of those tougher matches that we might just be able to pull through at least i'm confident enough in my skills and uh, let's hope that we're able to do that and because of squad fatigue this is the starting 11 that we are going to be starting with akimen replacing rivera because of his injury leonardo moving up from midfield to replace el fake who isn't fit enough for this match and um, danilo starting yet again on the other side i think he has, he has like the highest amount of um which call it? the highest amount of um jesus christ i've lost my mind i can't speak english anymore the highest amount of appearances yes and then brooks coming in for brandon lakeshore in that left mid position anderson filling the gap that leonardo left in the midfield and then rivers reserves his act and west as the back three with Coran in the goal so i'll see you guys after all the matches for the episode are over don't forget to hit the like button and drop a sub if you're enjoying the series so far and let's get into it leading up to this fixture but now the talking has to and welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing every reason to believe this will be enthralling He's in goal lorenzo Pellegrini plays alongside brian cristante in central midfield and the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset and anderson has it and just over the bar Excellent effort it was. A oh, great attacking play. Oh, might be. And it's in. 1 0. They breached the defense. Well, let's see this again. This is counter attacking football at its very best. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Play over to Alex. I think you can fill us in on a goal at the San Mames. Yeah, it's a goal for Bilbao. They're the first on the score sheet here. Keeper getting the touch. Paredes. Oh, and he's made headway. Clean through, but denied by the woodwork. Well, he did everything right, barring a couple of inches. That was almost the perfect finish. Oh, he looks threatening. Chance to cross. This corner could be useful to them. Time for a change then. And deciding to go short with this one. And very nicely positioned to win it back. Now the situation has changed in one of the other games I'm hearing. Let's go to Alex Scott. Yeah, it's a goal for Sevilla. It's now 1-0 with 61 minutes played. Thanks as always to Alex Scott. Can he put it in? Off the post and back in play. And you have to say the crowd have been brilliant. They're still driving the team on. Oh, the threat is there. Lukaku! Oh, a goal! An equaliser in the closing stages. 
Here's the replay, and just look how Lukaku glides beyond his opponent, and Lukaku does the rest. He hits through the back of the ball with such power, it's a great finish. Well, they still have designs on the win. Will he find the net? And a goal! This is why we adore this game. Late drama, and now they're in front. Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power. But just look at the follow-through. So athletic. That's a dynamic strike. And that is that. The referee blows his whistle for full time, and it's a victory for the visitors. Yes, Derek, sometimes it takes a while to eventually get the better of the opposition, and that was the case here. They kept going, and they eventually got their reward. Well, you know, when our colleagues in the newspapers come out with their grades for this match, he's going to get very high marks. Hello, it's great to be with you, and I don't think anybody is going to complain, especially about the weather. I'm Derek Ray, getting ready to bring you all the action, accompanied by my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. We're messing around here. What a start, Derek. Many thanks, Alex. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say, it was on the cards. Well, first of all, where's the defending? They're all over the place. But give him some credit, that's a good finish. Great composure. And the referee sensibly allowing them to carry on. Advantage with them. This could level it. Oh, but the keeper with an important save. How important is that? Well, he should score from there. That's a wasted opportunity. Stanislav Lobotka. Back to Zielinski. Is it going to be? Oh, he's found the net. And that increases the advantage to two. Just what they wanted and just what they deserve. Don't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. He's in with a chance. Wonderful block. Oh, a tremendous reflex action there from the keeper. Well, he didn't have long to react, did he? But that's a top-class save, I have to say. And Politano with it. Teammate available. Lobotka. On to Zielinski. And what a magical save it was! Could be threatening. get one back my goodness that save fully stretched he was one for his own highlights reel that's a good looking ball is this the moment and a goal here there it is they've done it well let's look at this again Derek because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick and the finish is just as good that's an excellent goal Totaling up all the stoppages, we'll have two additional minutes. Oh, in with a chance! Well, far too much elevation there. <laughs> Targets available, cross comes in. Well, still an issue here. Excellence to finish that one off. Wonderful.
wonderful to have that in your repertoire. Well, here's the replay, and it just highlights his skill level here. He does so well to keep it down. That's a really good half. Another live game in the championship coming your way on EA TV. It's Birmingham City facing Aston Villa. And just putting it over the top. Real chance. Able to get his body in the way. Well, good run and good ball control. Can they convert? He can't hold on to it. It's never got going. People will point fingers towards the centre-backs and keeper. And to be fair, they've been poor. No doubt about that. But they haven't had much protection. There's been so much space for their opponents to operate in. And they've had a field day. The final whistle can't come soon enough. The defenders know you can't really allow space like that. And pull back. The supporters want to see him have a go. Oh, that surely had to go in. But marvellous defending. Constantly thwarted. And there goes the final whistle, much to the disappointment of their supporters. Oh, oh dear, Derek, that was a worrying display. They were completely outplayed in almost every department. The coach has got a lot of work to do before the next game. Today, two sides with a rich history are awaiting a clash that will have fans and pundits alike talking for weeks to come. This is surely a match that will go down in the history books. Keep it right here with us, the home of football, EA TV. Hello to you, wherever you happen to be. Our action comes to you today from Villa Park. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. And we're on the cusp of bringing you live action from one of the most exciting leagues in Europe, the Championship. It's Aston Villa, and they take on Birmingham City. Scored in one of the other games. Let's find out exactly who from Alex. Yes, it's a goal for Stuttgart. They're back level. It's one all with... Oh, a goal! They strike first, and what a way to silence the crowd! Here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. Makes the move to the inside. And it might be. Oh, that is an outrageously good stop. Well, great reflexes from the keeper. He did brilliantly there. Good work from Villa to win it back. Is it going to be? Still possibilities. Ball on account of the pressure. Teammates available. Can he take the chance? Stopped a certain goal. Able to skip past his man. Douglas Luiz. This could be the equaliser. Oh, that surely had to go in. But marvellous defending. a foul and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick and a free kick hit with conviction so close well what a good effort he can't believe that hasn't gone in Douglas Luiz foiling his opponent completely well news of a goal in one of the other matches over to Alex Scott and he's in and there it is the goal they lead by two now. They can breathe that bit more easily. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Can he play it in? Well, couldn't quite hit the target. Close, though. Buendia. Can they keep it out? Opportunity. 
just failing to hit the target. Good effort, though. Good defending. Well organised at the back. And so the referee blows for full time, and it goes down as a victory for the visitors. Well, fairly comfortable in the end, wasn't it? Thought they controlled the middle of the park well. Going forward, there was some really nice, incisive play, too. It's a good result for them. Really no complaints whatsoever about his performance in this game, Stuart. Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable and he inspires those around him. Long way to go this season, but a colossal match between first and second today that could play a pivotal role in the title race. <laughs> Stay with us on EA TV for the live action as it happens. Renan Lodi. Well, putting all their energies into winning back possession. Trying to open up the defence. And a goal! That will do it. They've been pushing for it. And now they've been rewarded. Here's the goal again. And it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Wasteful from Al Hilal. Might be a chance here. Well, he was on his own, but couldn't take advantage of it. Well, I'm not surprised he missed that. He never really looked in complete control, did he? Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Teammates available. Nice weight on the pass. And a goal! They've increased the lead and they don't want to be throwing it away from here. Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power, but just look at the follow-through. So athletic. That's a dynamic strike. And having to soak up a bit of pressure again here. And space to cross it. Well, a disappointing effort making the keeper's life a bit too easy. Promising looking ball. Oh, might be. There's still danger here. Well, the situation has changed in one of the other games. Here's Alex Scott with the news. Yeah, it's a goal for the Abriel. Oh, jumping in. They're in a great position here. Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. Brooks. Now the cutback. What a save. Live action coming up for you on EA TV. It's Birmingham City and they take on Athletic Bilbao. Well, going for power and so close to finding the net. Well, sincere apologies for having to cut you off just then, Alex. Is this the moment? And there it is! Still life left in this game, and they have the momentum now. Well, here we can see it again, and he does so well to skip beyond the defender. It just buys him that bit of time to get his shot away. That's a really nice goal. And a goal has gone in in one of the other matches. Alex Scott will tell us more. Yeah, it's a goal for the Real. They've pulled one back. With 85 minutes now played. jumping in because this is a chance still alive and fired from the flank into the area and there goes the final whistle and the home fans are going to be happy about this outcome well Derek it was a tight game both sides had their moments and chances but overall they just about shaded it a well-earned victory well you know when our colleagues in the newspapers come out with their grades for this match He's going to get very high marks. All right, so definitely the highlight of the things I'm about to say right now is the match against Napoli. Because I wasn't expecting to win. I really wasn't. But then I also wasn't expecting to lose the match that bad. 
man four nil i mean they just covered us in every single part of the game and normally i wouldn't actually lose four nil because my team is not that bad but i don't know i just kind of lost concentration i couldn't like get the right passes together and shit so i just wasn't able to like you know do anything in the match but i mean other than that the other matches were pretty cool we beat the other teams like our hilal aston villa who were also our rivals but the main lesson that match taught me is that you cannot succeed without failure i mean we have to like fail a couple times before we get to where we're actually going in the series so we are on top of the league with 18 points again i would like to express that i'm really not expecting to finish this season first on the table if i do that that's going to be absolutely insane but um, I'm, I'm expecting a um um play like to be in the playoff round and then i would like to move to the premier league next season but if i do not i'm really not that pressed because i mean i'm giving myself five seasons to get the text to play so if i if I can develop the players more in like the championship, I would like the opportunity because next season we're going to be way better than the teams that are currently in the championship. So we have to coast through and win the championship next season. But I mean, that's if we do not like progress this season. But yeah, I'll also just show you guys the Premier League table real quick. City, Liverpool, Real Madrid and Atletico Madrid occupying the Champions League position while Leipzig, Monaco and Marseille are at the bottom. So we are at the end of the video and if you are still here then you know you might as well drop a sub and like the video. Feel free. <laughs> Let me know what you think about this whole Ultimate League idea down in the comment section below and um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.